Hey wet painters, it's Tenley and Kipton, and it's been another Masked Monday watching Bachelorette Season 7 with Ashley Hebert. We will, uh, we hope to reveal ourselves at some point through this, this broadcast here. We just, uh, want to be entirely comfortable and we want you not to really focus in our eyes. We, we hear that's hypnotic and... But, yeah, so speaking of masking ourselves, let's talk about fashion. Um, I absolutely love what Ashley's wearing. She's got the cutest little body. She can wear anything. But I'm going to just to cut straight to the point, and I think that the best date outfit she wore um, was her date outfit with Mickey. Um, I thought that the always wearing a pair of jeans that you're confident in with a nice beaded tank top like she had on with a, with a hot little jacket and some heels is the way to go for anybody and to for any date. You can be ready for anything. So I love that. I did love a lot of her pieces though and I could go on and on. You noticed something while we were watching the show. I did, I did. You know, it's funny. I feel like the guys that we saw a lot of on this particular episode on the group date, the winning group, um, are potentially dark horses, guys that we can see a lot of throughout the entire season. So watch those guys, that would be a tip. Um, I feel like we see that every season early on. So um, keep an eye on those guys and my personal dark horse, my undercover brother award goes to uh, the guy she had the best connection with last week, Ben F, in my opinion. So um, he was on that winning team. So. Noted, Ooh, I'll be watching. <laughs> do, you, um, do you feel like we should reveal ourselves? I mean, is it that, are you ready? This is a big moment, I don't. <laughs> Are you doing it? Oh, he's doing it. Should I do it? This is us. This is really us. Hi guys. This is all, <laughs> this is all we are. So I'd say that because now that we've revealed ourselves, we can say our still creeping this out award goes to Jeff, the mask wearer. Um, can't Sorry, believe he man. still hasn't revealed himself. I'm sure you're cool, but you're taking just a little too far. All right, so most romantic moment. Most romantic moment definitely goes to um, Ashley and William's state in the Bellagio Fountains, yeah. um, having dinner out there. Uh, I thought it was beautiful. I think that every woman loves that that idea and that thought of the romantic uh, the fountains around you. But at the <laughs> same time, I was liking William, but something's starting to I don't know. I don't know. That one was tough because. It they have the state, but you've got people taking pictures, standing look like maybe 20 yards away against the railing at Bellagio on the Vegas Strip there. So um, while you've got this romantic setting, you've got kind of an awkward audience. So I think that's what it was. It was hard to watch that genu genuine interaction sometimes. The weight off your shoulders. I love it. Yeah, heavy season so far. I mean. Williams revealed uh, information about his father and making the same about his mother. Um, but my weight off your shoulder award goes to Wes. West. 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 Um, who, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a really heavy story about his wife, and I think he delivered it well, communicated well, I think Ashley was really um, handled about as good as he could, so he's got to feel about a thousand pounds lighter. Absolutely, and as as we all know, when you're going through the this situation, you have to be vulnerable straight up front and maybe yeah. tell something to the stranger still, um, something really heavy uh, that you've been through or whatever that makes you who you are or where you're at today. I'm going to get Juicy here and um, the best great first kiss of this season goes to William. I thought that I mean, there were a lot of good first kisses and um, in fact I would almost give one to Bentley but I just can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, was at the altar, wasn't but it? Williams was at the altar, and I yeah. thought that it was instantaneous, and there's some chem chemistry there. Yeah. Who's got the Under My Skin Award? I thought we had to make this up because there's one guy that just. Yeah. What are you thinking? She's grinding her teeth every time he comes <laughs> on the screen. You know what? It, well, so who, who goes to? It? <laughs> I think everybody's doing that. But I think that, um, I mean, you know. In my own personal opinion, having been through a couple of these shows, I think that there's got to be some editing assist here. I think the guy can't be that bad of a guy or say that much stuff. If he is, then totally deserved, man. But um, I think he may be getting a little uh, bit of a rough edit from the show, too. Well, I just think that, I mean, he knows he's on television when he's in front of those cameras on those interviews. So if he's really saying those things in that context that we're seeing it in, yeah. then he knows he wants to get under our skin. And I just feel for Ashley that is going over her head so it makes me wonder but definitely he's gotta go um all right so the last one award we're you gonna gotta give, give a rose you gotta give i a rose. gotta give a rose and um 
You know, there's a lot of good guys that we haven't seen much of, but in, and there was one guy that I was really looking forward to seeing more of, and that was JP. And I gave him my rose last week. I'm gonna give it to him again. I Cupcake, two weeks yeah, in a row, man. Yeah, so, <laughs> don't worry, babe. You're still going strong. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching us on wetpaint.com, and we will see you next week. Yeah, tune into uh, facebook.com, the Bachelorette fan site, um, for other information too. There's actually a backslash in there. <laughs> Somewhere between that.com. Thanks, guys. See you next week.